Historical sources state that from the inception of the hospital in 1753 to the enclosure of the memorial garden in 1826, the land to the southwest was used indiscriminately as a burial ground for those who had died in its care. This area, now termed the paddock, is of both archaeological and historical interest. It has been estimated that up to 8,000 individuals are interred here, although other estimates say the number may be as high as 20,000. Archaeological excavations into the manner, number and extent of burials, both inside and outside the paddock, began in 2005, when Oxford Archaeology completed a season of test trenching and uncovered 169 graves. Following their recommendations, Cranford Forensic Institute, specialists in the field of forensic archaeology and anthropology, were requested to offer their expertise to the site. Since 2007, they have undertaken an ongoing series of research projects to characterise the historical burials known to rest here. The project is now in its concluding stages, with the final research being undertaken by Charlotte Willis. Charlotte's work includes the excavation of test trenches in the gardens of residences built for senior staff and officers. The construction of these homes, known as the Terrace, began in 1798 and took place on land thought to be directly above the burial ground. The Terrace residences are now private homes and the interest and enthusiasm of current residents has been integral to the success of the project. So we were excavating in the Terrace at Hasler Hospital this year because we wanted to explore the possibility of burials existing underneath the Terrace before it was built and we had a series of research questions that we wanted to answer. Were there burials there at all? Were these burials removed to make space for the terrace? Or were the burials just simply dug through and the houses built on top? So we hope to do a series of test pits in May 2017 to ascertain whether burials were present in the gardens of these officers' houses or not. The students here are all MSc and PhD students at Cranfield Forensic Institute. They're currently excavating and recording test pits to a maximum depth of one metre. They will be meticulously searching the spoil for human remains and other finds of interest. And if they do find anything, they'll be following the Babao and Sifa guidelines and will be excavating them and studying them to ascertain who they are and why they're here. The excavations at Hasler are always a team effort. It always involves staff members, PhDs, MSCs, volunteers and of course the residents of the hospital. The PhDs take on a huge supportive role, taking on roles in surveying, recording, photography, excavation, supervision and teaching. And all of this contributes to Hasler being an excellent experience for all of our students. 2017 is the final excavation year of a long project carried out by the Forensic Institute. And this year was quite different because we were looking at the gardens of the officers' houses, which originally formed part of the burial ground. What's interesting about this is that we found so many human links, like the smoking pipes and the animal bone. And we'll be linking those with earlier phases of excavation in the memorial garden, the paddock and other test pits across the hospital site. We'll be putting all of our conclusions together to write a large-scale report and also for my PhD. And that will tell us about life and death at Hasler and show us different parts of the site and how they were utilised for burial. The history of Royal Naval Hospital Hasler is well documented and the work undertaken by Cranfield Forensic Institute in recent years has done much to support this. It has also, however, raised new questions the answers to many of which may still lie buried beneath the hospital grounds.